very pertinent indeed. Italy have been tested, and in the end it's Romania who have missed the most. The ball in the possession there of Asake, the brother of the captain. The ball collapsed by Italy, so there is a penalty advantage for Romania. That's Antonescu. Outside again. Another penalty from Italy. Working the short side this time. And Sake trying to find his way through. Stay there, stay there, stay there! Offside. Well, that's a third penalty. Driving to within a metre. Can no, they get there? Ramon Poit's going to come back, and the sequence of penalties there may well mean there's further sanction. Captain. There are at least three penalty offences. Just be very, be very careful about the repeated infringement close okay. to the goal line. That was the second one. Just okay. be very careful with that. I have a word for you, players. <laughs> Time off. Well, Ramon Poit says the second one. I felt certain he'd uh, called three separate penalties. Yes. Then I suppose who's counting. Blue fight. Blue fight. But the Blue message fight. is clear. Blue fight. Blue fight. Just need whatever it takes to stop Romania scoring attitude, isn't it? Even if it is illegal, doesn't seem it doesn't seem to bother Italy. They just don't want Romania to cross our white line don't again. Don't drive too early. Don't drive too early. They need to be very careful because it could be a yellow card. You going touch? You going very touch? very soon. Oh. Well, Barrio Bernabo is on, the only member of this Italian 23 who was involved in that game eight years ago at the Velodrome in Marseille. When Italy beat Romania, the last time the two sides met. check call it just before the, the kick. Yes, please, Ben, what do you want to check? Well, Ben Skeen has spotted something. OK, please. Well, I think it's this. Look for the ball on the ground. He may well have seen a grounding here. Captain. There. See the ball. Thank you. I have a decision. Just please to explain to the captain, uh, Ben. Uh, hold on. Just the TMO coach, just before the kick, we need to check the grounding of, uh, of the, the last act, OK? We are going to check. Please, Ben. Roman. Yes. You are on the open side. On the blind side, gold four has grounded the ball over the gold line. Okay. And therefore, the try should be awarded. Okay. And it's Valentin Popolan. The grounding. All right. That is correct. Thank you. <laughs> There's the try scorer on the occasion of his 51st test match. I don't think he knows he scored it. Certainly the Italians don't think he scored it. But uh, Ben Skeen, up in the gods here somewhere, thinks he scored it. Well, I must say I felt certain at one point when I was looking back at those replays that I thought I caught the glimpse of the ball being grounded, and that's exactly what Ben Skeen saw. It wasn't much of a celebration either, was it, by Papa Allen there? Eh? If, you, if you score tries, you've got to make aware to the ref that you've scored the try. He just turned around and just took the penalty and didn't say nothing. Spontaneity is all, isn't it? Straight out of the middle from Florin Blakey.